All right, what's up, guys? This is Eagle Russia, and today is exactly one year after uh, after the uh, start of the special. Well, in Russia they say special operation, and I'm in Russia, so I'm saying using the word that they're using for uh, legal reasons. And uh, we are now at the city mall, and this is uh, one of the one of the big sorry adjustments here. One of the big uh, and my favorite shopping malls, and let's see what kind of difference it has, a uh, what kind of differences and uh, events have transpired in it into. So, meaning, how does the year of events in Ukraine, different sanctions, and, and thousands of companies leaving Russia, have actually how things are visible here in in uh, shopping mall of city mall? It's a big one. There's international companies, at least they used to be. So let's see how does it look. I'm eager in Russia, I make videos about St. Petersburg, so please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and then let's go and look inside the actual life here in St. Petersburg, Russia. All right, this is uh, one of the big northern centers of uh, uh, St. Petersburg. Vinerska metro station, new buildings, high-rise buildings all around we're gonna start off this place here it's uh it's Leroy Merlin and I used to call it Leroy <laughs> I don't know why but it's like uh, I think it's French company it's like uh, IKEA uh, but IKEA has stopped its work so now we have only well many companies except IKEA And I've been here many times. I've walked inside City Mall over there, the main doors. But now we're gonna go enter through uh, this one here, through uh, Leroy Merlin. And let's see how does life uh, appear one year after the events that's uh, influencing the whole world. Right, there was a babushka, a beggar. She says she is blind, but I'm not so sure. All right, moving in. There's tons of people right now coming out. Leroy Merlin shopping spree. So this is a pretty, pretty big, pretty big shop. You can buy stuff for kitchen, your household. Uh, not furnitures though. Cafes everywhere. So this, by the way, an interesting thing about the Leroy Merlin. I bought with my, I don't know, couple, three years ago some stuff from here. And it was not good enough. And I came here. Now, got, by the way, going into the city mall. So I came back and uh, I said that uh, the stuff is no good and they actually transferred money back and I received it like in a couple, I don't know, in a few hours I think, or just a day or something. Really amazing Russian effectiveness, which is Russia is not known for. But in business, it can be done. The customers are really important, especially in, uh, in acquisition of, uh, of uh, new, uh, new customers. All right, coming in from the side of uh, City Mall. And uh, we will see what's, what kind of differences, what companies have left or which companies have closed the door and await to be opened. Mm -hmm. 
Let's check it out. I guess we can visit this place because I know it's the other end of this shopping mall. So there we can see a street beat shop. I think it's a they sold North Face. At least some international brands are still available here. There's the Levi's by the way. Levi's is still here under a brand of denim. This is uh, the new denim shop. The new Levi's is denim. Just the name change and business as usual. Tin flare, nothing, doesn't have to do with Finnish company, I think. And Puma is here, check it out. Puma is closed over here and won't be opening. And won't be opening these doors. Everything is covered there, as you can see. Because they're expecting a lot of dust, so it's gonna take time. But here we have, even though, check it out, Puma is closed. But then again, you have Urban y Vibes selling Puma, Nike, Adidas. So, very funny. This is Slav, a new city shop, by the way. Cool looking outdoor shop. Tourism, yeah, camping and stuff. This is also a new shop and really cool uh, ca cashier. So like a car, Volkswagen, as you can see. Really cool design. So a lot of shops, I don't recall. This shop, by the way, used to be a Finnish company, Luchta. Over here, they didn't let me film like a year ago, something like that. But now it's a new company, Fiat Karma. No, no, Fiat Karma. Interesting. It's a cool looking shopping mall, I really enjoy it. But uh, we are searching for boycotted companies or changes in Russia one year after. There is a, also, this is a new shop as well, and the city mall has been open for a while, for a year, few years, but it hasn't been finished. I think it's now becoming, getting finished, don't we now? So this here is Austin, like a good budget clothing, okay clothing, nothing special, not cool things. But this in here. It's a sports master. It's a good shop, sports shop for real. Really, really cool one. I buy my uh, training gloves here for the gym, for example. The best ones I ever had cost like 10 euros. They last long. This is a new spot here, cafe. But the cafe, cafe, coffee here is probably done by, you know, by the machine. I don't like that. Early, I, in Russia, you should buy coffee that is produced by barista. But check it out. This is a huge Sportmaster, huge one. There's a new shop also, label. So tons of new shops and only one that has closed and actually closed, uh, closed its doors. But actually, as we know, products are still on, on sale. Ralph Ringer, weird names. A lot of changes. I haven't been here for like maybe almost a year, maybe properly. Health, uh, sports, uh, sports food. Some uh, business casual clothing for men, Klondor, BC. A lot of discounts here, but in Russia, uh, sales are not big ones usually. It's like max, well, 30% is probably only for a few products. But uh, that's why many 
go to Finland even because in Finland a lot of tr products are if there's a discount it's a huge disc it can be a huge one there's a Tom Taylor 50% discount for, on the second product you buy notice so it's not so easy straightforward here is reserved ah, reserved I think it was closed for a long time by the way I think reserved was closed it's uh, women's clothing and men's as well and uh, it has rebranded itself as RE yes reserved I still see reserved behind it so very funny stuff and this is CR uh, I think this also had a different name it used to have different name a lot of name changes because of this uh, whole sanctions boycott thing companies want to you know make their brands shiny even though many fake it and I thought always that this brand is it looks very international like H&M maybe or even cooler but uh, this is Love Republic and it's actually Russian oh wow really cool design There's a really in Russia. It just you have very good prices for gold and and silver. You know, white gold and stuff. So the good discounts in Russia are actually about for gold. That's that type of stuff. You should buy gold in Russia. I'm not gonna go filming filming their faces. And uh, reserved has a has reserved. A lot of spaces so it's still all of this is still uh, reserves and we are now by the way on the second floor we're gonna go back to the first floor later on because it's uh, such a huge shop you're not able to uh, go through all the way here's the central point where all the uh, elevators and escalators sorry are at the first floor is pretty cool looking by the way and I'm pretty sure that most of you are now saying that hell, there's no differences. There's a free more shops on this wing. And I remember this place, by the way. There's a lot of shops that uh, you never heard of because that's why they, they don't occupy the central area. We have like Anna Verdi, Massimo Renni, like Italian brands a lot. Chester, Glenfield, very neat. First fabric, Christina Milan is here. I need, by the way, some proper gloves. So we're gonna go back to the central area right now and uh, to find some differences because right now you probably don't see any differences right comment down below uh, if you're feeling weird about this what what kind of a feelings do you have what are your remarks right now seeing this Seemingly, they, they have a lot of discounts, but not really. And this, so we came from this side here on the left, and actually continues the way we came from. It continues also uh, uh, to the other side over there. I guess we can take a look also here. There's a lot of brands I've never seen before. That's because uh, some companies have left or renamed themselves. Here's Diplomat. Leganza. A lot of smaller shops selling gold. So we're going to go all the way up there as well now. There's the food court. 
and the shop continues over there. That's where we actually started this thing. So let's go go around. Sunlight, eighty percent discounts for gold, and that's for real. If that's real stuff, I know you probably think that's uh, no way, Jose. But yes, there's huge discounts all the time. So we're now heading up to the third floor. And after this, we're gonna go also a little bit back. Back to the first floor, because the first floor is a huge one as well. I won't be able to cover it at all. So let's see what we can. Because the end video is a different, uh, different equipment, you know, video and stuff. El Dorado. So this here, by the way, is a, is a street uh, kids uh, level. Custom made ice cream, small shops for kids, and some equipment for te technical equipment. El Dorado and video. Then it continues like Gulli Gulliver. And playground for kids. Oh, cannot go here. How stupid of me. You have boats, a bus, a horsey. This is a place they leave their kids while they do their own stuff. Uh, while parents do their own stuff. Here is a Dietzki Mir Children's World. Some of these shops was closed for a while, but I guess they understood that things don't sell themselves and money rules the world. And that's how it is. I truly believe. Even the ones leaving, I think uh, that we're going to the food court level, which is really nice. They have lots of different foods there, different uh, kitchens, cuisines from around the world, even though it's a food court. It's pretty decent, a little bit, Higher um, up up level, um, higher prices than you know re proper restaurant prices, even though served on a plastic plastic plates. But uh, I think most of the companies leaving Russia also do it just for the brand. They don't really care. I think so. I might be cynical. All right, here's also some food court plus a movie theater. I've watched some movies here, they're okay. Right now, a lot of movies, most of the movies, Hollywood movies is uh, also boycotting. So there is no... Uh... Nice. So there's no lot of international movies, but that means there's just more. And there, uh, there's more Russian movies like Cheburashka hidden new records. <laughs> All right, this is the place. Let's go from through here. Let's check out the food court. This is, these tables separate the food court from the theater. As you can see, Pushkin and the uh, Ravidnik war movies. In Russia, lots of stuff is automated. You can buy everything online. Very easily, most of the times. Yeah, and the payment methods are really, really customer friendly. All right, let's go around the uh, food court, which is part of the city mall. And it's always packed. 
always. So this is some changes here. This used to be life cartoons, like the Vietnamese cafe, I think. Not sure. Everything is in Chinese, by the way, in Russian. Forget about sugar, is this place called? Oh no, sorry. This is the Vietnamese. Yes, Vietnamska Kuchnya. This is cool. They have good food. Endless lines of people. Here is Vastochna, so this is like Asian food in general. Sushi, ramen, wine on the left. For true romantic, Russian uh, cuisine scene, restaurant scene is awesome. St. Petersburg especially. This is Pizza 22, it's a chain. Chain. And this is Bazaar Kebab. This is beer, beer place, expensive craft beer. And expensive means like five euro beer. It's really expensive at restaurants. It's 300 at the top, except it's if it's like international, foreign. Really nice pastries. Everything over here is a bit more expensive than normally. Here's European variety. So there's like ten menus, etc. And this is Yoda Express Thai food also. Really nice. They have a really nice uh, food, uh, soups here. This is Baba, uh, Baba Ganoush, this is Israeli restaurant. This is good, check it out. Really cool. Vietnamese eat curry, this is Thai, this is Indian food, Indian street food. Here is Mamal, where they uh, have uh, all sorts of, uh, I think, like Georgian, Georgian food. And here we come to the American side of the world, KFC. It's been open throughout the whole thing. Uh, then there's Ekusne Toch, the previous, previous end, uh, ex McDonald's. We have uh, Italian food over here. Italian pasta and pizza. And then this the Russian tiremok, which is really, really good Russian fast food. And there's also a Korean, a Korean food, South Korea. Not many customers, but this is pretty okay. They have really nice uh, soups as well and, and chicken. Here's Cars Junior, a burger joint. Medina, and yes, but this is what is this? This is like a fish restaurant. And then, then there's uh, Farsh, also a burger place. And the Cinnabon is, I think it's American chain also. They have warm pastries. And let me show you guys. These are warmed up, they, they are really, really fat and nice. Fat and sugary, lots of, lots of... Uh, so check it out, this is the place where we started from, uh, over there. That's the place we started this whole video from. Going now back. So this place here is, it says Tvorchiska. It means like people for uh, to work on their thoughts. It looks very very uh, uninvitive, but it's almost. This looks like a. And our artwork itself, you know. And the food court continues on this side. This is Chuck, I think you see it's a, I don't know what it is this place. It sells all sorts of food and this one here is Ma. 
Magal, Magal Dim Sum, Wok, okay, we can sell Wok, Wok food, it's only fornication, poke and rolls. Alright guys, let's go. Let's go now back downstairs and see the rest of City Mall, Russian, Russian reality. One year after the crisis of the world. I think the design is pretty good over here at the city mall overall. Actually, I like this place. It's a bit hot here, but I'm um, then again. I am in my winter clothing though. And, uh, this is the third floor. We were on the fourth floor up, so a couple floors down. We'll reach the ground level. It's uh, of course the most busy busy um, level probably in any shopping mall uh, in general hashtag city mall it is a gruskai re-upload I think they've been that refers to the changes being done to uh, to the city mall I know the first floor had some companies international companies and there we can see right away Samsung that never left iPhone did something but then again iPhones are still sold in through retailers Samsung never left probably gained some market share and that's the main one of the main entrances or maybe even the main entrance a bit busy not like not so grandiose so we're now walking let's go around this place by the way through here yes I'm trying to time my video so I can go to the toilet then. <laughs> Sorry guys. Here's a uh, perfumes. People are working in perfumes in the special shops. They know their business, but uh, the key is uh, of course the uh, customer service. Here is Salon Seiko, so I uh, clocks. And uh, what else? Glasses. And it actually continues over there. There's a huge lots of shops over there. And the main thing is the uh, the um, what is it? Perikvostok. It's a it's a grocery store, which we're not gonna go right now. Maybe we will. Let's see. Lingerie. Consumer dance. People are saying you know suitcases. So there we can see, I think this is covered because it used to be a, some kind of a, I think they had a shop here which was closed currently. You see? If you don't see it, you don't remember it. Because I think it had like a international clothing line, was it H&M maybe? But here are the other shops that are open, Atom, uh, Paris, Lingerie, more buy some uh, ah there you go pulling bear it's over here very good shop it's closed and the also Bershka over there is closed so uh yeah that's the only thing that's visible from all of this they didn't close their premises but i don't know i don't know when they're gonna open again if they are the visa open never closed Swatch the uh, clocks, the Swiss, Swiss uh, uh, premium watches. 
that's been closed for a long time. Let's go see. Looks sad. But yeah, Bershka pulling bears. Watch. Bershka again. They're all closed. You saw a little shop over there upstairs, Cinnabomber. Here's the main main cafe. It's a chain. There's all around uh, all around St. Petersburg. And here is also a shop that is now closed and they actually took the brand away so there's no logo even. I, and I can't recall what shop was here. My wife would tell me tell me if, I, if, if she was with me. And now that you can see, we finally found some signs of sanctions and boycotts. Also Uniqlo is closed. As you can see, Uniqlo is closed. Okay, um, and they had, a, they were open for a longer time, but uh, they're not coming back, I guess. But Mango is open here, check it out. That's international brand. Women's Secrets, I don't know what's this. Is it Victoria's Secrets, but it's closed. I can't even read Il. I don't know what does it say. I think it's just this shop over here. Yeah, this shop renamed itself. Yes, it used to be a, what was it? It was an international brand, but it's closed its doors. Very interesting. So renaming a few companies that have closed down. All right, guys, this was uh, one year after video from St. Petersburg, Russia, City Mall, Shopping Mall. What you guys think? Did you enjoy? Is this interesting? Please subscribe to the channel and uh, leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.